Okay, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakah Kwadash. And double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutation you Akim out there that push this word in truth for sincerity. This is going to be a great millstone to the point. So without further ado, I'm going to get into these scriptures. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 31, verse 3. The rich men have great labor in gathering riches together. And that's the international bankers, man, from the Rothschilds to the Rockefellers, the DuPonts, the Gettys, the, Van the, the Vanderbilts, the Oppenheimers, so forth and so on, man. Their labor is gathering riches, man. And they have no want for nothing. So are these, their cronies, such as the um, the stockbrokers down on down there on Wall Street, Dow Jones, and the sellout um, Hollywood actors and actresses, and and the sellout rappers and the sellout um sports figures. They have riches beyond what they need, man. Some have sold out. And some just was born with that silver spoon in their mouth, such as the international bankers and they and their offspring, man. It says the rich back in Sirach chapter 31, verse 3, the rich man have great labor in gathering riches together, and when he resteth, he is filled with his delicacies. And that's the same thing with you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans that have sold out, man. You know, when you're rest off all your labors, you have not a want for nothing. But the thing about Jake that separate them from the international bankers, we are under curses, man. And Jake don't know how to manage money. So at the end of the day, after all them riches that, that Jake done gathered together, it could be over $600 million, man. Being, the, being in the boxing industry, being in the um, baseball, being in the NBA. But at the end of the day, y'all don't know how to manage your money, so y'all die broke, man. Because we're under the curses. But Esau, they gather their riches together. And then when they do gather their riches, they rest up and they, and, and they indulge themselves in their delicacies, man. They indulge themselves in whatever their hearts desire. But you Jakes, on the other hand, have sold out and got riches beyond your wildest dreams. You'll live good for a while. And then them curses come upon you because you cannot escape the curses. And then hence... You lose all your riches and you die poor. Or you wind up on the IRS millions of dollars, man. So what, did it, so what did it get you selling your soul, man, for FRNs? Which is an acronym for Federal Reserve Notes. What did it get you? Nothing. But on the other hand, you have the men of the Lord and other jigs out here that has not sold their soul and they struggling. It says, verse 4, the poor laboreth in his poor estate, and when he leaveth off, he is still needy. And that's talking about you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That them curses are cleaving upon you, man. You labor all week. All day, every day of the week, 40 hours plus, if you're doing overtime. And then you leave off, and you, once you pay, you get paid. And once you pay, you get paid your crumbs. And once you pay for all your bills, pay your car note, your insurance, your rent, buy a few groceries, treat yourself to a pair of boots or a pair of sneakers or a pair of pants. You, you broke. You in need again. I'm going to read it again. Um, the book of Sirach, chapter 31, verse 4. The poor man, the poor laborer, who's the poor? The poor is you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. We are the poor, man. We are the ones that's on the bottom. We are the ones that's, that's working for crumbs. We are the ones that, when we pay our bills, we ain't need, after we pay our bills. Because once, because once you got your, once you get paid, your your paycheck is spent before you get it, man. Because majority of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, you're living from check to check. From check to check. So by the time you receive your money, you broke again. And that's exactly what this scripture is talking about. 
It says, back in Sirach chapter 31, verse 4, the poor laboreth in his poor state, and when he leaveth off, he is still needy. <laughs> and that's this that's this the curses cleaving unto us, man. And that's that's the truth, man. If, if you were Negro, Hispanic, Native American, living in the land of Babylon, which is, you know, America, but Babylon according to the scriptures, if you not so if you have not sold your soul to be a, 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 a top athlete in the boxing world, in the NFL or the NBA or baseball, on Hollywood, man, you struggling tremendously, man. And you live in check by check, man. See, after you get paid your crumbs from busting your ass and working for Esau, the so-called white man, which is the devil, whether it's weekly pay or bi-weekly pay, man, when you leave off from paying your bills, my man, you in need. You in need. You got to pay your insurance. You got to pay your... If you're paying light, be light bill. All your bills, man. Because we are subject unto the land of our captivity. Pursuant to Baruch, the third chapter, the eighth verse, man. We are yet this day in our captivity and we are, and we are subject unto payments, man. And that's why we're in a poor state. Other than basically because we are under curses, man. And we was not brought over here in the land of America to prosper. We was brought over here to serve hardcore slavery under the hands of the white man because we had sinned against the Most High. So, those of you who have sold out, man, you're in your prosperity now, pursuant to the Book of Sirach 11 and 25, if I'm not mistaken, but soon, you're going to, it's going to be forgiveness of prosperity and that anguish and that pain of being in um, one of all things is going to cleave upon you once again. So I'm going to wrap it up. But I'm going to read Sirach the 31st chapter, the 4th verse again. It says, The poor laboreth in this poor state. And we labor, man, toiling, working hard, for the so-called white man, where you're working eight hours a day, you're doing overtime, man. You're working at night or you're working in the day. You're working part-time, but nonetheless, man, you're working for Esau, man. The so-called white man. And you're working and you're laboring in your poor state, man. Because basically, if you have a few dollars saved up, something may happen where you got to spend that few dollars, man. So basically, you live in check to check, man. Basically, you live in check to check. It says, it says, um, and when he leaveth off, he is still needy. And that's you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, man. And you can't get around that without a shadow of a doubt. That fits you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. So with that, once again, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. This has been a great millstone to the point. And to the next to the point, I'm going to say Shalom.